Hi guys, how's it going? Um, finally got around to making the second part of July's, I think it is July month's um, sales report. Last month got a bit hectic as you can probably see from the amount of tabs along the top. Um, there's, I ain't even gonna bother trying to count them, but there's loads. Um, yeah, I had a pretty good month in the end. I ended up making just under 12 grand, um, which weren't bad. It's a shame this month's not been the same, but sales are slowly starting to pick up. Um, I just want to apologise again quickly for the lack of videos. It's been a bit of a um, mad couple of weeks for me. I kind of blew my bike up and then I ended up with three defects coming at me all at the same time. And um, yeah, I just, oh, it's crazy. Plus I ended up pumping my numbers up to 300 listings now. Well, they're currently at 293, something like that. Um, but by the end of the day, they're gonna be at 300. So yeah, um, that's all good. But yeah, basically, well, I've had no bike. I've been off the road. I've had to ride everywhere and it's like, it's stupid, I forgot how much energy it takes to ride a push bike up a hill. But um, yeah, so my time's been preoccupied riding and listening, so um, yeah, sorry guys. But anyways, yeah, so let's get on with it. Um, as you can see here, we've got the 14th of July, which I've just checked the video last, uh, the last video and I ended on the 13th of July, so starting from the 14th, um, yeah. Got quite a few to work through, so uh, go make yourself a coffee and pause me if you want, and um, come back and sit down once you're done. So uh, yeah. Anyways, right. So basically, first off is a Hollister's jumper. Um, it's long sleeve, nothing special. It was a size medium, and I got twelve pound. I took a best offer. I think they probably offered me like ten pound. Um, I probably paid about one pound fifty, two pound for this. I try not to pay no more than two quid for clothes now. Um, plus free postage, it's not a lot of profit in that, but Hollis was always a good mate to look out for, guys. It always sells quick for me. Next is one of the last of the Match Attacks cards. This was a, uh, who is he? Hugo Lloris, or Lores, whatever you pronounce his name. Uh, 100 Club, I got seven pound fifty plus free postage. Uh, I popped him in a second class stamp envelope even so it comes to like 75p for postage so uh, about four or five pound profit off of him next is everyone knows by now articular I paid probably about two pound fifty for this um, I took a best offer on it I don't actually remember taking the best offer on this one um, but I paid two pound eighty plus postage as well um, they paid sorry 280 postage as well. My guessing is they probably knocked me down to around 720 to make it up to a tenner. But yeah, either way I accepted it. So uh, again, another one to look out for, especially two sex guys. Sorry. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. So um, coming up to the silly season now as well. Like things are going to start going up in price and selling more when it comes to ball games. Uh, next is a pair of True Religion jeans. If I just see if I've got an actual picture of the logo, uh, that's the one. As you can see here, True Religion, um, well tour. I paid £3.50 for these at a charity shop near my nan's. Um, and the person sent me £20 best offer. And they went as a small pass, uh, no, they went under a key, Fire Hermes even, sorry. Um, so that comes to £2.78 roughly. Uh, so there's roughly about. 13 to 15 pound profit on that after fees and everything else. Yeah, true religion, guys. Uh, some more of the Sega games. I actually thought I included these in my last um, video, but seeing as they went on the 17th of July, I'm going to assume I didn't. But yeah, Quack Shot, Castle of, Illu Castle of Illusion, sorry. Um, World of Illusion, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, and Taz in Escape from Mars. Now, I could have got more money for these if I'd sold them singly, but they seem to be really slow sellers in the end, so um, I ended up bundling these together. And I think I took a best offer of £25. I had it up for £28.99 with free postage, and it was a best offer of £25, I swear it was. Um, but yeah, anyways, like, um, that's pure, pure profit on them. I've already made me money back for the initial investment on the uh, Sega games. So, next, again, is some more of the Sega games. This was just a bundle of crap to put it blankly um got 19.99 on them and there was echo the dolphin uh power monger lemmings mega games one 
um, megalomania. Um, all low value ones, but I managed to get 20 quid. So again, all profit on that one. Um, this one here, this was this was a very, very nice buy. Um, I paid 30 quid for it, and it's a Canon A1, yeah, Canon A1 camera, and it comes with a load of lenses, uh, cases, and stuff like that. Um, I understand Lee Retro Pickings actually got that case just there, the um, smaller one on the left, and he ended up selling it for about 35, 40 quid, I think it was. Um, I just bundled it together though, um, again I thought it would make a nice little bundle for someone that's just getting into photography and it went via the global shipping program, I got 115 quid 99 so I don't know how much that is in dollars, I'd say close to 200 dollars roughly, plus 280 postage, um, I paid 30 quid so lovely lovely bit of profit on that one. Uh, again, some more of the Sega games, I think these are the last of the last now, I've literally got two left, um, but they're like bottom enders, so they're going to be sitting there for ages I reckon. But anyways, yeah, um, I've got Road Rash 2, Micro Machines, Micro Machines 2, Virtua Racing and Road Rash 3. That went for best offer of £30, again the person knocked me down to 30 because it was up for £34.99 and I, uh, I accepted it, so um, yeah, happy about that one as well. This one was a uh, This one is a bolo, guys. Definite, definite bolo on this one. Um, an Adidas Liverpool jumper. I'm assuming it's going to be the same for any kind of team. I paid two pound fifty for this, and it sold same day for nineteen ninety nine plus two pound eighty postage. Um, it's by Adidas. It's got Carlsberg written on it um, with the Liverpool logo on the front, and on the back it had "Never Walk Alone" written across the shoulder blades. Um, so yeah, that was a really, really nice quick sell. Um, a Timberland extra large shirt. I paid one pound for this, and I think I ended up accepting a best offer of seven pound fifty. I think roughly plus two ninety postage. Um, nothing special. It's just a basic checkered one. Timberland. They they seem to be a bit of a low end up, but they're quick sellers at the same time. So um, they're kind of the bread and butter bringers, if you will, of any business like four or five quid profit. Um, but they sell pretty quick for me. So uh, yeah, bigger the better as well. Uh, this was a Giorgio Armani Play With Style t-shirt, nothing special, no pattern or anything like that. It was a size large, um, and I got £7.99 plus £2.80 on it. Um, I don't think there was anything wrong with this shirt either. So uh, yeah, another nice quick flip. Now these are books to watch out for as well. Um, the Sainsbury Book of. Singly they're worth about a quid, if that, but bundled together they uh, do pretty well. Uh, this one had cocktail and pipe drinks, Italian cooking, whole food cooking, and card lighting. <laughs> um, party cooking, yeah. Um, I got £7.50 plus 280 postage. They went under a key, luckily, just. They were something like 0.89. Um, but yeah, definitely one to grab, guys, if you see them for like a quid here or there. Um, these ones I actually got for £2 even. It was buy one, get one free. Um, see so yeah, if it's two quid in total. Next is everyone's favourite again, courtesy of Nick Hills. This is the second one that I've sold. There is actually a third one in here as well. Um, complete season, 1 to 10. Complete series, sorry, 1 to 10. I took, I think it was £25 plus 280 postage. Um, I paid four quid, I think, for this set here. Um, no, this was the £10 one even. The other one that's in this is uh, the £4 one, sorry. Um, but yeah, this one was 12 quid. Not 12 quid, sorry, 10 quid even. Long day. Um, and it come with £2.80 postage as well, so just under 30 quid. Game Genie, uh, Game Genie cartridge. You can't get me words out today. Game Genie cartridge. Cartridge. <laughs> I give up. Yeah, but Game Genie cartridge even. Uh, I took a best offer of £9 plus free postage. Went under a key, so again, 278 uh, maybe five, six profit after fees and postage and everything like that. Um, but again, all profit. Uh, another one I've got nine ninety nine plus two pound eighty four. Um, another articulate ball game. I reckon I basically sold this one for my asking price just because I went out of the way to make decent pictures basically. Plus it's coming up to silly season. I've noticed that the prices are starting to go up to thirteen to fourteen quid on this as well. So um, next one's getting priced higher. Right, a uh, pair of men's Billabong shorts. Billabong is another mate to look out for. It's, um, without trying to sound like I'm discriminating against a certain type of people, but chavs, 
Um, your typical chads, London boys and stuff like that. It's a name to look out for for them. Um, I paid a pound for these. Um, admittedly, this is a bit of a nicer style, so I got twelve ninety nine plus postage. But generally, I tend to get around the ten pound mark for these. Um, these were a size thirty six, so I imagine that's borderline large. Um, but again, there was nothing wrong with them. So again, nice, nice, quick, easy flip. Uh, cool. Display picture on that one's a bit bad, isn't it? Um, this is a YSL evening dress shirt. It had a double cuff. I would not wear something like this personally. It is absolutely ugly. If I um get a picture, look at that. It's like a proper, proper formal like wine and dining kind of shirt. I took a best offer of no less than 15 quid. I think it actually went for 17.99, something like that. Um, basically, guy got it down to like 20 quid again. But um, yeah, I paid £1.50 to £2 at a boot sale for this. So again, nice bit of profit on that one. A uh, pair of men's River Island jeans. These are really slow sellers unless they, uh, there's something special like on this one. You can see that on the pocket it's got like the cross kind of stitch. Um, they're, they're stylish basically. So uh, yeah, I managed to get 11 99 for these. But generally I find the lower end is around 7 99 to 8 99 plus postage. Um, again, more so the bread and butter kind of sales. Uh, this one was quite a nice shirt. It was a Ted Baker. Yeah, Ted Baker, extra large, 42 inch chest, um, a floral kind of design. I paid, I think, no more than two quid again, guys. Um, I don't tend to remember the prices I paid, I'll be honest. At work boot sales in the spur of the moment, it's literally just like, right, yep, I want that, 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 how much? Bundle it all in, and then I defied the like defied the actual cost by the amount of items there, and then I recalled it as close as possible in the spreadsheets. But um, again, I generally tend to pay no more than two pound, average of a pound to two pound. Um, so yeah, but anyways, thirteen ninety nine plus two eighty postage. Um, again, nice quick eight to ten profit on that after fees and everything. But uh, Ted Baker's another name to look out for. Um, some more than Nerf guns. These went for $13.99. I could have got more, but obviously, nice quick sell, pure profit on this one. Um, I sold both of them actually to the same person, I think it was. Um, that was with $3.90 postage as well, so can't can't really moan about that one. A uh, pair of Levi 501s. I sold these on best offer of no less than a tenner. Um, I think they went for around eleven fifty, something like that. Uh, again, nothing special, they're just a bit of a larger waist with 34 waist. Um, yeah, paid again, no more than two quid. Um, God, that is a terrible display picture. Yeah, I paid £1.50 for this, I have no idea what was going on there, I must have been at the Appy Juice or something. Um, yeah, basically I, pay, I paid £1.50 for this, went for 8 99 plus 3 90 postage. It's nothing but a glorified sat-nav holder, beanbag, like it's really heavy. Uh, some more of the Sega games, they just keep going and coming and going. Um, Dungeons and Dragons, The Revenge of Shinobi and Golden Axe 2, the Japanese version. I took a best offer of 25 quid with free postage, I just wanted them gone and they went. So pure profit on that one. There's the second Nerf gun, weren't to the same person. Uh, another Y, uh, yeah that name there, YSL, whatever you want to call it, shirt. Um, it's like the white one, but it didn't have the frilly bits that went down there. Um, £9.99 plus £2.80 postage. Um, this is a men's extra small shirt. I tried this on and uh, it, was a, it was a nightmare getting back out of it. Um, but yeah, I took a best offer of £6.99 plus £2.80 postage. Um, the guy left me feedback as well, so can't moan about that. Um, a pair of Wrangler jeans. Uh, paid no more than... £2.50 for these I think actually because they were in really good condition and I took a best offer of 15 quid plus £2.80 postage so um, yep happy to see them go I'm finding clothing is really really picking up for me um, the last few you'll see is a lot more clothing they seem to sell a lot of, like more generally all year round unlike ball games um, obviously coming up to Christmas ball games are going to be increasing in sales but Mid-year, I noticed that they really started to slow down, and I honestly believe that if I just stuck to ball games, 
I wouldn't be selling as much as what I am now. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's a nice niche to get into. But you've oh, it, the stains and the moody buyers and everything. It's a nightmare at the point, guys. But yeah, I'm I'm enjoying learning about them. But um, anyways, yeah, back on track. This is a vintage action man. Um, again, I grabbed this on the back of Sam uh, Latchford or Latchfield. Sorry, mate, can't remember your last name, but yeah. Um, I grabbed this on the back of his Bolo one that he sold for like hundred pound. I actually ended up selling this for six ninety nine because it stuck around. There is actually a rip uh, in one of the trousers, and it's pretty stained as you can see as well. Um, but other than that, it was in good condition. So um, yeah, I'm happy to see that go. I literally broke even on that one. Next is a Paul Smith t-shirt again, size small. I took a best offer of seven pound, seven pound. 50 on this one again can't quite remember um, it was nothing special but again literally just matchsticks um, purple so yeah bit of profit on that one uh, this is a pair of ladies three quarter length joggers um, again I think I paid a pound for these at a boot sale actually no this was off the 50p stall yeah um, there was a stall where basically she just had loads of like Primani or Primark whatever you want to call it um, gear and I basically ended up diving into it and finding like the decent mates added that's like stuff like that and it was literally 50p on every item so um yeah I've got 7.99 plus 280 postage on that so uh again five six quid profit uh this one here actually didn't end up selling um the person ended up buying it and then I had to open up an item not paid case um and she ended up messaging me saying she's got no PayPal account. Will I send it to Vietnam? And I was just like, nope, go away. I'll wait for me money to uh, me fees back. So um, yeah, uh, the buyer's name is Mayumi Yoshioka or something like that. So uh, add to the block list, guys. No PayPal account. Uh, a men's Ralph Lauren shirt. I actually got this off of one of my dad's mates. I got about six or seven shirts like this for I think it was fifteen quid. Um, there was a couple of polos, like polo t-shirts even, uh, Ben Sherman's shirt, this Ralph Lauren shirt, and a couple of River Island shirts. So, um, not quite made all my money back on this sale, yeah, personally, but made, like, the majority of it back. So, uh, the rest is pure profit now. Well, pretty much, bar a couple of quid. Uh, pair of Levi 514 jeans with 32-inch waist and a 30-inch leg. Um, I paid... £2.50 out of a charity shop for these ones, I think they were. Um, sold for £18.99 plus £2.80 postage. Great condition. Levi, they're, they're, there's more and more being on the market now, like being placed on the market. So prices are going down for the uh, like medium size, but they're still worth grabbing, basically. I'm starting to not be able to see the X on the uh, tags. Um, yeah, a men's fat face jumper. For twelve ninety nine plus two pound eighty postage, Fat Face is a decent mate to look out for, guys. Not a massive bit of profit, but very, very, very quick sellers. Um, so yeah, basically, nice, happy, quick flip on that one. What more can I say? Ugh, right, two sets, guys. I'm going to readjust my camera position. Right, yeah, back on track. Another YSL T-shirt, um, seven ninety nine plus two pound eighty postage. Again, paid no more than a pound. Um, quick five, six quid profit again. Uh, pair of Wrangler jeans. These actually had damaged hems. I paid a pound for them, um, and I took a best offer of six ninety nine plus postage. Um, so yeah, just just made a tiny bit of profit on that one. But uh, yeah, lesson learned. Always double check the clothes, triple check, even quadruple check the clothes if you have to. Uh, Sun Ice. This is another name to look out for. This one went cheap because it had a very small stain on just, just there on the uh, back of the shoulder. Um, it was a really, really small stain. But these tend to go for around the 25 to 30 pound mark. Sun Ice. It's like a golfing make, basically. I've actually got two more that I've got a list. Um, they're going through the wash. But... Um, yeah, definitely worth grabbing, guys. So nice. Uh, two muzzy language learning packs. I took a best offer of £35, I think it was, for these two. Um, it was both Italian, level one and level two. Yep. I got three of them for £25 at a boot sale. 
Um, the third one is yet to sell, but all the profit is basically sitting in that third one. So, uh, yeah, definitely one to look for, one to grab if you um, get them cheap enough. Oh, why did I have to see this? Oh. <laughs> basically, this one here. I woke up, well no, late last night even, sorry, one of my mates pointed out that I had negative feedback and this is the culprit. Um, there was no contact made from the buyer, I messaged him, did get no contact back from him until I replied to his feedback. Long story short, he is a grade A pain in the, pain in the bum, basically. That ain't the word that I want to use to describe him, but that is, yeah, that's the word I'm going to use. Um, it left me negative feedback, turning around saying uh, it was absolute rubbish and he wouldn't use it as a duster, basically. No contact from him asking for a refund, which I would have been more than happy to do. Um, I would have been happy to pay return postage if it, if it was the difference between keeping a clean cleaner can, basically. That's why I've got 99.2% positive feedback now. Um, I'm a little bit angry about it still because of the response that I ended up getting back from him. He basically he asked me to... Um, Donate half, like 50% of the total sale price, which was a tenner, to Help for Heroes. Now, I've done it because I've been on the phone to eBay. eBay were like, look, we can understand that you are a good seller. It's the first feedback, negative feedback that you've had. You always deal with, like, refunds. We've noticed that you refund, everything else. Um, but we're not going to remove it. But what they have turned around and said that is if I basically agree to donate 50% to Help for Heroes and he doesn't refice it, I can contact them, fill out a form, send that to them or email it to them and they will double check it and then remove it. So hopefully, touch wood, that is how it pans out. I've sent him, I've sent him screenshots confirming that I've donated to it. Um, it was £5, so it's, it is a £5 loss regardless. Like, that has basically eaten into my profit. There's probably, like, if I'm lucky, a pan profit left on it. Um, but to me, personally, I've had 100% feedback, and I want to try and keep it to that. Because, obviously, long term, the more feedbacks that don't get removed, the more it's going to affect me account, if that makes sense. Like, I may be a mug for doing it. And I suppose deep down, I do think that I should have just said to him, like, look, mate, go away use it as a dust or whatever, I do not care. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, I'm playing it out at the moment, see how it goes. But yeah, BRSB1297 is his username. Anyway, ran over, sorry guys, nearly there. Um, a pair of men's Levi 501 jeans again. Uh, 33 waist, 32 leg. Paid... These are the ones that had damaged stems as well. They had like a stain at the bottom. I took a best offer of six ninety nine on them, um, plus two eighty postage. The person's left me feedback as well, so yeah. I've m even if you can't get the stains out, guys, just stick them up for rock bottom prices. I mean, I paid a pound for it, and I took six ninety nine on it. Like with me eBay fees being discounted and stuff like that as well, it's still a good three to four pound profit. Like that's another another four items of clothing for a pound. So yeah, don't don't just bid them or whatever like it's it's still money at the end of the day right these are some more um, match attacks cards rain rooney cristiano ronaldo from the under club and rain rooney limited edition i took a best offer of 14.99 on them <coughs> rooney goes for 12.99 on his own and uh ronaldo sorry goes for 12.99 on its own you can tell i don't like football um but rooney goes for around seven pound as well so i just bundled them together just to try and enforce a quicker sale uh excuse me and it worked so uh yeah uh men's white sl t-shirt um size large got six pound plus 280 postage and there's nothing wrong with it i should have like stuck it up for 7.99 um but still i think i paid 50p to a pound for this so um can't can't really moan about that some women's River Island trousers. Um, they are a size 8 with a 34 inch waist. I took a best offer of £10 on them, plus 280 postage. Um, that is the completely wrong display picture. I should have ideally used this one here. That's better. Again, nothing special. They were like quite a lot of baggy cargo kind of style. Um, again, paid no more than two quid for them. Um, these went to my dear, dear friend, Buddy Bram. Um, he's also a member of the Facebook group. He was going on holiday and he was like, do me a deal on them. 
I paid a pound for him, so I done him to him for a five or plus two eighty postage. He then went on holiday and apparently split him. So uh, no, he didn't really. But yeah, <coughs> it would have been funny if he had. Anyways, pair of ladies Levi jeans. I took a best offer of fifteen quid on these again. Um, nothing wrong with them. Uh, the person just messaged me saying like, look. I, I can't afford them, but I really like them. Would you accept them? And I, I think it was just a case of um, morals or sympathy kicked in, something like that. So I was like, yeah, go on then. So, uh, yeah. Another Ralph Lauren shirt. God, you can turn off, changed my camera now compared to this picture. That's terrible. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, another Ralph Lauren shirt. I think I ended up taking the best offer of 1750 something like this on this one, uh, plus 290 postage. Again, I think I paid about £2.50, £3 for this one. Um, this was in a charity shop. It might even have been £3.50. But yeah, quite a bit of profit in it. Um, again, Ralph Lauren, guys, another name to look out for. Um, Babyliss Pro Curl. Now, I made a bit of a cock-up on this one. I checked this when I was at a boot sale quickly. It was up for a pound. Um, and there was one that come up straight away for like 70 odd quid and I was like okay yeah I'll take that for a quid then and acted all cool. Um, got back home and actually found out it's the next model up to this that goes for like the 70 odd quid Pro Babyliss Curl Master or something like that. Um, and I ended up taking the best offer of I think it was £8.50 but even at the pound quires like I, after postage there's not a lot of profit left in it but there's still, still some profit left in it. So uh, yeah. And the very, very last one, um, this was a bit of a weird one, to be honest with you. Um, I've got it listed as a uh, UK 140 or whatever it is. Um, I think that's actually meant to be 14. Um, but anyways, yeah, listed it. It sold for, the person sent me a best offer of 6 99 And then <laughs> they received it, ended up sending me a message saying that it didn't fit and that it probably shrunk in the wash and that, uh, um, yeah, they couldn't be bothered to return it because it weren't beneficial to the pair of us. They just weren't going to leave me feedback. Um, and then they ended up listing it for seven ninety nine on auction. So uh, I think basically they just bought it, like tried getting it cheap to resell it. Um, I actually looked at the listing as well and they used the exact same listing image I've used. Like they took my image and listed it. So um, I know eBay are against that as a uh, like breach of policy, but sod it. I got the money, didn't get a defect or anything like that, so um, I ain't gonna bother with it. But anyways, yes guys, that is it. Um, I've had a couple of private sales as well. Um, one of my mates, she's looking to expand her clothing and get some decent name gear and stuff like that. Um, and she's bought two Levi pair of jeans off of me as well for 15 quid each. Um, so that's 30 quid for like two to four pound investment. So um, can't really moan about that one. Um, there was also one more pair, which I didn't include. A pair of Hugo Bosch trousers. Um, the guy bought them and then turned around and said that they don't fit in the leg, but he was really, really sarcastic about it at first. Um, we ended up getting into a bit of a lover's tiff. That's the best way to describe it, because we're best friends now. <laughs> um, so yeah, like basically I said to him, like that was what caused it. Basically, he wanted the refund that day. And I was like, well, no, mate, I want the item back first, and then I'll give you a refund. And he weren't happy about it, but it went back and forth like that for a bit. And then... Um, People can't leave me alone, can they? Yeah, basically, he um, got a bit funny with me. I got a bit funny with him, and then he posted them back. So next morning, I just said to him, like, look, mate, I'm sorry about yesterday. Um, I've had people scam me before. I haven't, but I hope he don't watch this video. But, yeah, like, obviously, I don't want to do something like that in case he does try to scam me. Um, and he was like, look, it's man enough for you to apologise. I'm sorry too. We must have just got off on the wrong foot. And before you know it, we were talking about partners, ex-partners, our dogs, why, like, why dogs are better than cats and the joys of running your own business and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I managed to proper, proper avoid that one because his attitude at first, it, I honestly thought he was ready to defect me. Um, and with the, the um, Burberry duster person at the moment, I didn't really fancy getting another defect because, as I said, it's not me down to 99.2%. And um, I'm proud of having a top-rated seller status. It, it, quite, it, it shows that I've put in the work and it, it's paid off tenfold. Like, just a regular guy going from nothing to something within, like, a few months. So, um, 
Yeah, I'm now basically at 300 listings. Well, near enough. 292 after the sale that I've just had, or 291 even, something like that. So yeah, after today, it's going to uh, be at 300 listings. So um, yeah, it's just nice to try and have that little bit of pride and be yeah. If you guys know what I'm exactly what I'm on about. Come on, you resellers, you know exactly what I mean. But anyways, yes, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I've tried not to ramble too much in this one. I'm starting to ramble now, but hey. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you've spotted some like clothes to look out for. Like obviously some of them are pretty obvious. Um, so yeah, I hope you learned something. And I just want to say cheers to Buddy for um, bearing with us and putting up with us and teaching us about clothes and stuff like that, mate. It's, it's appreciated. So uh, cheers. I still think you're ginger though. You're not strawberry blonde. Anyways, bye guys.